Every two years, we deliver a new process technology that brings greater and greater, greater capabilities through smaller, better, faster transistors. And we just announced our 22 nanometer process technology. Now, 22 nanometers is revolutionary in that it, it enables us to deliver a 37% increase in performance if we hold leakage constant, or if we want to hold power constant, it delivers nearly a 50% improvement in active power. So really significant improvements. And we can tune these capabilities to enable us to deliver everything from very low power smartphone type of processors all the way up to multi-core high performance devices for servers and everything in between. So like clockwork, generation after generation, we've done this for, for these products for every two years. However, when we think about now the Atom product family, for the kinds of devices that I'm talking about here today, we're accelerating that roadmap. The system on chip kind of capabilities that we're delivering, and for the next several years, we'll deliver these capabilities faster than Moore's Law. So let's take a look at kind of what this accelerated roadmap looks like. Well, 45 nanometers is shipping in volume today. 32 nanometers will begin shipping in volume a little bit later this year. And 22 nanometers will be in volume production in 2013. And then we're aligning our core and SOC roadmaps at 14 nanometers. So, so, so that's a, a much faster cadence than we've, we've typically done historically. And additionally, at each of these process node transitions, we're delivering atom architectural enhancements as well. So these, these roadmap uh, capabilities deliver stunning performance, a dramatically lower power, and the ability to integrate new features into these kinds of devices. Uh, we just announced a, a new version of that product, the N435. It's, it's a strategy that we're deploying to enable uh, uh, extending our capabilities into emerging countries. So I want to show you some examples then. And then in addition, we have a, uh, a, a system up here as well from Samsung. It's a Chromebook Series 5 using the Intel Atom 570 processor, 12.1 inch display, supports instant on capabilities, 10 hours of battery life, and delivers that Chrome OS experience that uh, hopefully you've had an opportunity to see. And then, you know, there are a bunch of other uh, very interesting kind of devices up here as well. So uh, we're also, uh, um, have a bit of a, a celebration here. We, we, have, we have a birthday. Uh, and we're celebrating Adam's third year as a product. So this is its three-year birthday. And we're also celebrating the fact that we're shipping the 100 millionth processor this month as well. In fact, we're so excited about this, at the end of this event, we're going to have cake for everybody outside. So uh, make sure you don't miss that. <laughs> So obviously this product category has been a uh, phenomenal success collectively for Intel and the ODMs and the OEMs that have created these atom-based netbooks. 100 million units. So the category though is evolving. Uh, we're really looking forward to it continuing to evolve and deliver more and more uh, capabilities. But it's also going to become more and more difficult to distinguish between uh, a tablet, a netbook, and even notebooks. So I'm going to take a second, I want to look at another product category, and it's the Intel Atom Z670 platform that we formerly refer to as Oak Trail. This was a product that was launched at the Intel Developers Forum in Beijing back in April, and, and we designed this product very specifically with tablets in mind. The package footprint is 50% smaller than the previous Intel Atom 400 series devices. The Z670 supports 1080p video decode, it adds support for HDMI. And if we look at certain workloads, you know, if we look at something like internet browsing, we're seeing that it, it, it delivers that kind of capability, that kind of workload, at a 55% lower hit power. So some of these as well. So uh, if you notice kind of up on this first row up here, uh, we worked with a number of ODMs on various Z670 designs. Uh, and these are uh, shipping systems as well as development platforms. Um, we have a couple of uh, tablets from Compal, Quanta, and others. And all of these are running the, the Android Honeycomb operating system. 
And beyond the slate form factor, we're also excited to see some of the other innovations that are going on. This is one that I think is uh, really a lot of fun. This is the, uh, if I can unplug it here. This is the uh, Fujitsu Lifebook TH series. It's a slider device. Has a bunch of great features on it, so you know you can be operating it in a, a, a mode with the keyboard, and then you can uh, also enjoy it in a tablet form factor as well. So very interesting, very compelling kind of device. Another one that's uh, very interesting is this one from uh, Evolve Three. Uh, this is pretty unique in that the tablet has a uh, little fold-out uh, kickstand. And it also uh, comes with a, a screen cover that works as a wireless keyboard as well. So, uh, you know, a lot of innovation happening around a Z670 processor would indicate. And so I'm excited about our 32 nanometer products as well for companion computing. And, and, and when we talk about these, and we're talking about Cedar Trail and Medville. So let's start with Cedar Trail. So, so this is a platform that scales from entry-level desktop type of applications down to fanless netbooks. And this fanless view that enables platforms that are quieter, thinner, and lighter than the current netbooks that are out there today. So we deliver frequency as well as performance improvements to Cedar Trail, and it gives it the, the capabilities through both CPU and graphics card enhancements for about a 2x graphics performance compared to the N455. It supports 1080p uh, high definition playback, supports Blu-ray, integrates HDMI, it delivers a beautiful viewing and overall media experience. And all of these features are delivered with up to 55% lower thermal design point. The enhanced power management translates into thinner devices, longer battery life, the kinds of things that we're all looking for. So, a great example of this is another uh, device I want to show you that's up here. This is something we refer to as Keeley Lake. Um, and this is a, uh, a, a device that we, we work together with a lot of to develop. Really a stunning system. It's a thin convertible at, at 19 millimeters. It uses Intel Advanced Cooling Technology. has a physical keyboard for productivity so that you can do that content creation. But it also has a multi-touch display for, for tablet type of usages as well. So you can spin the screen around, go right into a, uh, a tablet type of mode as well. So uh, these are some of the kind of, of uh, capabilities that these systems can deliver for some of these new experiences. And they really come to life by having the silicon OSs and applications all working together. So I want to walk through some of the features we're going to have with the Cedar Trail platform. You remember I, I mentioned earlier these experience features. So it's things like Intel Wireless Display, lets you move that image from your screen onto your television. The Intel Smart Connect technology keeps tweets, RSS, email, those things up to, up to date, even when your system is in standby. And be able to run all those environments on a single device. So instead of Jason having to have multiple devices to meet his needs, you can have all those operating environments running on a single device. This device by Evolve, it's called Evolve 3, is running three operating environments you can boot into. Mego, Android, and Windows are all running on this device. So that's the innovation we're seeing on Intel architecture. Now a critical element for us to build on this is the platform architecture. As a software person, Intel architecture gives me that stable, consistent architecture that I can innovate on and optimize. Even to software development. You'll see, I think this one has the Android Honeycomb operating system running the pre alpha build. Windows 7 and Mego version 1.2. So again, complete power down, power back up. Um, we also have uh, some work that we've been doing with a company called ViewSonic and a software company called uh, BlueStacks, where they actually let you, it's a Windows 7 based system, but you can run a virtualized uh, Android Froyo operating system on top. So uh, both, both operating systems together. So again, Oak Trail this launched in October. Uh, this system is uh, basically available today. Uh, these are really ODM reference platforms, but we can match make with OEMs if they're interested in this particular form factor. Okay, thank you.